Hello everyone, welcome to this week's episode of The Nick Topic. This week I'll be talking about the Nickelodeon magazine. Before we get started, I just wanted to say the winner of last week's contest will be in the description below unless there wasn't no winner. Um, because as of the day I'm filming this, the contest isn't over, so yeah. So if there's a winner, that'll be down in the description below. Now on to the topic. Nickelodeon Magazine, please. Nickelodeon Magazine, please. Okay, so we're talking about Nickelodeon Magazine. So for those who don't know what it is, it's a uh, magazine subscription that Nickelodeon did from 1990 to 2009. You can get Nickelodeon Magazine delivered to your door. Six issues for $9.97. But it started again in 2015. And it's still going, but it's not like the um, ones in the 90s. It's the newer Nickelodeon shows. It was first distributed by participating Pizza Hut restaurants. The first version only had two issues. Then it started up again in 1993. Paper Cut started working with Nickelodeon in 2015. And ever since then, there's been a new issue every month. The Nickelodeon magazine had non-fiction pieces, humor, interviews, comics, pranks, and recipes. It's packed with celebrity interviews and comics and puzzles and great stuff to collect. The magazine had a mascot that was a Lakeland Terrier dog named Zelda Van Gutters. She would appear throughout the magazine with funny little commentaries. She was also in the magazine's photo comic strip, Roughing It. The 90s shows featured in this magazine were Our Monsters, The Angry Beavers, Cat Dog, Doug Hay Arnold, Kablam, Peswick, Ren and Snippy, Rocket Power, Rocco's Modern Life, Rugrats, and The Wild Thornberries. The magazine had a poster in every issue, too. There was also a UK version published February 16, 2011. It was a collaboration with Nickelodeon and DC Thompson & Co. The UK magazine was discontinued in June of 2012. And I actually have a Nickelodeon magazine myself. It has food ads, game ads, Nickelodeon contest ads. And it also has some fun cutouts. So here's the magazine that I have. It is Cat Dog on the front. This was uh, for October 1998. Uh, here's the contents of the magazine. And it has ads and fun stuff. I'm only going to show, I'm only really going to show the Nickelodeon stuff. There's this Aunt Jemima waffles contest thing. That was a collaboration with Nickelodeon, I guess. A Rugrats contest ad thing. A big help, um, a big help a thon reminder thing. There's a light switch. This goes around a dog's collar. Uh, this is a mirror thingy. Uh, something I put on the fridge. Something I put on the mouse pad. It was, it says October 17th. It's a reminder for the thingy. And a Rugrats comic subscription ad. Okay, the next thing isn't Nickelodeon, but I want to show it. It is a candy sorter because it was like around Halloween, so they got it. There's a candy sorter in this, which is kind of cool. And this isn't uh, Nickelodeon either, but it's a calendar. A bunch of fun stuff on it. And then an ad for Nickelodeon.com with Angelica on it. And then this, an interview with Peter Hammond, the creator of Cat Dog. There is... The theme song lyrics, it's not the full version, obviously. Picture of Peter. And then an interview with him, questions and answers. And then the day it premieres, which that also confuses me because Cat Dog, it said that Cat Dog premieres, premiered April 4th, 1998, but this says it premiered. October 5th, 1998, so I'm kind of confused on what the real dates are, like, I don't know. That is all the Nickelodeon stuff. No, wait, no, no, wait, wait. Uh, Kenny and Kale and Good Burger books, I think. Yep, books, book ad. Super cool.
Okay, that's all I have to say about the magazine. It's really cool, and I'm hoping to collect more. Uh, from what I understand, it could be expensive, but I haven't really looked for them. The only time I looked for them is when I was looking for this one, this specific one, and this was $13, so I don't know. But anyway, on to the news. There isn't much news. There's, uh, there's betting, Nickelodeon betting at Target, and yeah, there's like comforter, sheets and stuff, regular stuff. There is also going to be a new Spongebob Halloween special as a stop motion, like the Christmas one. Okay, so here's the fun Nickelodeon betting at, nope, that's my saying, wrong way. The bedding at Target, the comforter, the other side of the comforter, sheets, pillowcase and stuff, and a Ren Snippy blanket. And I don't sleep with a comforter, I just don't like comforters. But uh, I actually do want the sheets and the pillowcase set. So there's the comforter set and then the sheet set. And the sheet set comes with a fitted sheet, a regular sheet that you sleep with, which I also don't sleep with one of those in a pillowcase and I have two pillows in my bed so I like the pillowcase anyway. So yeah. Also apparently in October um there's going to be an Are You Afraid of the Dark Tribune movie exclusive online. I'm not exactly sure what it is but I'm hoping that I'll put a link to the article in the description below. And that is all the Nickelodeon news for this week. And for those who like cat dog, I have a cat dog channel that's everything and anything cat dog. I'll link to that is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the new topic. Make sure to tune in next Saturday for um, there. Just like the trivia contest one, there isn't really like a topic. I'm doing the Nickelodeon DIY, which should be fun. So bye guys.